history has has chapters painful chapters <clears throat> wonderful chapters but it is history when i said when Jan van Riebeck landed in the Western Cape, our problems began. It's a, it's a, it's a historic fact. <clears throat> now, I always avoid giving the details of the history. Well, it's not necessary. When he landed, there were residents here in this very city were established here. <clears throat> the Kohen San. They were living here and they welcomed him warmly. And he established himself. They were together. Somewhere, somehow, a tension began. And there were wars that were fought. They were removed here forcefully from their area. Removed. And some of them went deep into the country, north, south, east. <clears throat> and the wars began because after the population arriving in South Africa grew, it is written down, it's not me <clears throat> concocting it. There were eight major wars that were fought in the Eastern Cape. I didn't write that. We are not counting, we are not counting other small wars. Eight major wars. There was a great track from here when there was a quarrel between the Africaners and the British. That's a history of this country. There was an establishment of four republics, two belonging to the British, two belonging to the Afrikaners. When all of this was done, the blacks were not consulted, even the establishment of the republics. The clash between the Africaners and the British continued. There is no part of the country that there were no clashes. With the British, <clears throat> with the Africaners. Some are big and known, some are not known. <clears throat> the Zulus fought the British. And the major one was the Tisanjuan. The Africaners fought the Zulus. <clears throat> and Ngom, what you call the Pral River. <clears throat> and the British, the Africaners discovered, <clears throat> as they call it, they discovered, they actually came across. <clears throat> mineral resources and the British heard this and they vowed to defeat the Africaners and there was an Anglo-Boer war as a history of this country very bitter war we all participated on either side <clears throat> only now when we are correcting history we are calling it a South African war because we all died in that war at the end of that war, the English speaking and the Africaners met to negotiate and agreed the four republics should be combined and took very important decisions. Where will the parliament be as part of compromises? It will be in Cape Town. Where will the administrative city, Pretoria. When will be the judiciary? 
Orange Free State in Bloemfontein. And one of the decisions when these two met was that you will have therefore a union of South Africa, the government who should be elected at all times, but the black people would not participate in that process. Thank <laughs> you.